Hello folks, today we will do some dirty tying. I will tie or show you at least, uh, yeah, I will at least show you two of my favorite egg flies. Uh, first fly we will tie is a resin egg and it's um, like it's, um, its name, it's a resin egg, uh, so it is. Uh, we use a small curved hook for this. You can use a straight hook also, but I like I like the curved hook. And then you just need some lead wire or something. Uh, this is uh, oh yeah dot o fifteen. Not sure what it means, but yeah, it is kind of thin. So I just do like just a few five six turns like that. Very easy, very easy. And then I will use different colors of, of resin. And uh, this egg is like you can probably know it's sinking kind of fast. Uh, so this is a perfect fly if you just allow to fish like one fly then you can have this uh, like a like a fishing fly uh, and here I use all these resins are from Gulf this is the color fluorescent orange which is a nice one. Then don't too don't take too much because we're gonna cover this with three <coughs> three different colors. Yeah. So and then when we are happy about it, and of course some kind of happy with the shape of it, then we use our lamp. To cure it, it is very simple. But of course, when the resin is the UV resin is uh, a little bit colored, it takes longer time to get it uh, completely dry because you have, of course, a powder color powder in it. So take your time to to make it hard. Then in eggs, you always have this little dot the eye of the egg sort of and here I use a fluorescent or hot fluorescent red just to to make a little dot a little I don't think the fish care but but I think it looks kind of sexy so let's make a little I'll do this on the side so you can see it And you can of course use a little, if you're not happy with the shape, you can use a dubbing needle, sort of, but that's okay. I mean we're gonna cure it later with this uh, Tin Man resin, from also from Gulf, just to have the drop form of it. And now we use the Tin Man. You can also use Flex Man, but I think the Tin Man is, is kind of good for, for this purpose. And you can do this with one or two layers, depending how the shape turns out. You spin it and cure it at the same time. I will take one extra. 
this is the nice thing with the tin man because yeah you can really just take a small amount of resin to make it <clears throat> as you can see hopefully you have a uh, this small like layer around the egg So this is a nice resin egg, this is uh, perfect. Also you can use this as a dropper fly, um, <clears throat> if you like fishing a uh, cased caddis or something you can have this a little bit above and, and have this little dropper fly because this uh, fish, fish sees this one, yeah perfect, uh, perfect, perfect fly. So <laughs> glue it up. Yeah, uh, it's not so much tying in this, but uh, yeah, they are really, really effective. So, and now we'll tie the second egg fly. This uh, I call it fire butt egg. I don't know if it has some other name, but this is how I tie it, and this has been like a top, top producer fly. This is a slightly bigger fly, and it will like. Mm, not sink as good as the uh, resin egg, but uh, it will sink anyway because here is a size 10 hook, a hick hook, gig hook, and then we have a 4 millimeter bead, tungsten slotted bead in the color pink. That is what I prefer because this is a completely pink fly. Um, so, yeah. You can of course tie it in other colors, but I prefer and it has really fished the best in this color. Uh, <clears throat> a lot of people fish egg flies and I do it also, especially during the colder uh, months, like uh, late fall, uh, winter and <clears throat> of course uh, spring, because there's a lot of fish that eat eggs. Uh, trout shore. I've caught really nice trout and really nice shore on this, especially on this fly. Uh, then I start to do the tail or the butt of this fly, and this I use. This is a uh, uh, dubbing from Spawn Simisil. This is called uh, UV Pesca Hot Pink, and I tie it in like this, and then I fold this over to create a little tail. And for the thread here, I use a power thread or a, some kind of silk thread because you want to have some power in your thread to tie this, to tie down the material in every way. So we will start here. I will use our own egg yarn. This is NTS egg yarn. This is really nice. This has been, yeah, some good hair for uh, me. And I split up the uh, the material because yeah it comes in a big clump and I just take out smaller clumps or strands or what to call it like this and then I start with cutting a piece like sort of one inch or two centimeters and then I tie it down and I try to do a loose wrap and then I try to get the material all around and then I just fluff it like this and go with the thread. <clears throat> I do the procedure again. I just take these fibers and just stretch them out a little bit like this and I do uh, some loose wraps, loose turns, and then when I'm fine with it like this, I press it down and do like this. And then the last one, same thing. The 
and move it there. Do some half turns like this. And then I sometimes actually use a sort of a dubbing brush just to like brush out all the fibers of this because then I think it's more nice to when I'm cutting it and take it easy so you don't like cut too much of it and then I do like this You sort of want a round shape. Or an oval shape or something. As you can see, the semi seal dubbing You can see it in the butt here. That is why I call it a fire fire butt egg. And the nice thing with these flies, they are they don't sink as fast, but they can do of course depending how you how much weight you have them, but they get really like transparent in the water and I think fish apparently likes it. They are very curious about these flies, uh, especially when it's a little bit colder weather. Um, yeah, like I said, I have really good fishing with this. I fish them both urine style and also with indicators and stuff like that. And the good thing is like tying them with a jig hook is that you can fish them so near bottom because I had fish, I've seen fish picking, picking these flies up from the bottom, which is nice because uh, yeah, then you know they are, they want it. Yeah. So tie these up and fish them, leave a comment what you think and what your favorite egg patterns are and, and what species you fish for for uh, uh, for after with, with egg flies. Uh, so, thanks for watching. Yeah, so, um, yeah, take care.